In this video, I'll show you how you can use Discord as a beginner on your Android or your iPhone. Now, if you're new to Discord and if you've only just downloaded the Discord app here, it can be a little bit confusing and a little bit daunting. The layout isn't exactly the most user friendly thing in the world, but after you understand how to use it and after you've used it for around five minutes, you should have a general idea of how it works. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use it as a beginner. You can do a lot of complex stuff inside of Discord, but I'm not going to show you that in this video. So the first thing you need to do if you haven't already, you need to go and download it from the Play Store or the App Store. Just go and search for it, download it, it's completely free and it works on both Android or iPhone. So once you open it for the first time, you are going to need to create an account. Anybody can create an account, it's completely free. And then once you've done that, you'll be taken to this window here. So let me break down what you'll be looking at when you first open Discord, because I know it is quite confusing. So if we look at the bottom of the screen here, we've got the Discord logo, we've got our friend requests, we've got a search bar, you've got an at sign, and you've got your profile. Then if we look completely to the left of the screen, you'll see some little circles here with icons in. Now, the chances are, when you first created a Discord account, you won't have any of these icons because you need to actually join servers to get these icons. So these icons are individual servers, which are like individual chat rooms and individual forums. Now Discord is made around servers and communities. So each of these individual icons is an individual server with different people in. So you can join a Discord server with your friends and then you can talk to your friends or you can join an already existing community with thousands of people in and you can talk to those people as well. So first I'm going to show you how you can create a server and how you can join one and how you can just start talking to people on Discord and just getting a feel for the app. So first what you need to do is you need to click on the green plus icon and it's going to give you the option here to either create a server or join a server. Now if you click on join a server you're going to need an invite link from somebody who's already made one. So maybe your friend's made a server. If he or she gives you an invite link, you can then go and paste it in here. But if you want to create a server, just click on the plus arrow and then click create server. And here we can start to create a server. You can give it a name, you can upload a profile picture, and it's completely free and you can just click create server. Then you can go and invite people and you can then share your link. Now by default, this invitation link here will expire by one day. So if you click on the settings cog next to it, you can make it so it never expires or it expires after 12 hours and so on. And you can also make it so it expires after a certain number of people join. But once you've set them settings, you can copy this invite link and then go and send it to whoever you want to join. So I'm just going to go back here and we are now in my new server. Now, when you're in the server, you can click on the three lines in the top left hand corner and you can see we're in Bradley BRXD's server and you'll see there's a text channel and there's a voice channel. Now, Discord servers generally both have a text and a voice channel. That means you can obviously talk to people through text or you can jump in like a voice call and have loads of people talking at the same time. Now, generally speaking, in big servers with massive communities, these are organized in different groups and different categories. But if you just want to create a server with your friends, which I'm assuming most of you do, you can just create one server and everyone can just go into the voice channel here. To go into the voice channel, just click on it and just join voice, allow Discord to record audio. And you're then in the voice channel. You can then speak to whoever else is in the voice channel. And then to leave it, just click on the red bottom right hand corner. You can also create multiple voice channels if you want multiple conversations going on at the same time that don't interrupt each other. If you want to invite members, you can click on invite members. And here we can go through our friends list and invite people. Or again, we can copy the link. Now, if you want to invite friends to your Discord profile, all you do is you click on the friend icon, which is one next to the Discord logo here at the bottom. And you can then click on the friend icon in the top right hand corner. And you can then add them by their username. Now, when you're adding a friend, you need to add them by their username. And every Discord profile will have a hashtag and then a number after it. So it isn't a case of just entering in their username. You have to enter in their username the hashtag and the number. So mine here, for example, is Bradley BRXD hashtag 9810. And you need to get your friends to tell you that if you want to add them. On a basic level, Discord really isn't hard to use. It's just if you go and do all of these advanced things, you start customizing your server, adding bots and all of that. It gets a bit complicated if you don't know what you're doing and if you're a beginner to Discord. But if you just want to use it to talk to your friends or maybe join some servers, then this is how you can do it. And that's basically all you need to know. 